This thing rocks. I love this car. What a good car this is. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so much better. Today I'm gonna to be testing the new K-Tuner features. Uh, these have been out for a couple weeks now. Corey Poole from Two Step Performance actually emailed me about these over a month ago, and I will show you guys his email right here where he explained them. Alex from AGV Auto, he, you can see his channel right here. He already did a video on this for the TSB Stage 1 tune. Um, I'm gonna do it for the Fearable tune. Okay, so another announcement. I am finally going to start a merch store. I'm gonna start a website. I'm gonna be developing that. I'm gonna do coffee mugs, sweatshirts. So definitely need to get some merchandise started up, especially since I'm, I mean, I'm doing, I'm spending so many hours on this YouTube channel each week. So it makes sense to start a website and form an LLC and see where it goes. So first thing you need to do is right here. Okay, and here is the email that I received from Corey Poole about these new features. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys in the software right now. So I'm going to upload my fearable file and then we're gonna go over to quick adjustments, throttle responsiveness. I mean, it came standard as this one right here. I don't think I want the throttle that touchy though. We'll do factory response. Standard throttle padding. Okay, let's try soft. Also, I need to disable the O2 sensor. Yeah, this one right here. So now I can upload this to slot one of my key tuner. Okay, now that you've done that, we're gonna come to the car and flash it. So if you're very new to this, I will explain the process right here. You put your car in accessory mode, so you push the button twice without any feet on the pedals. And then we're gonna go to the K, flash, and tune one. Yes. And then just let it do its thing. So then you're gonna get this message, press okay. And then key the vehicle off. Key the vehicle back on. That's when you start it. All right, let's see if it worked. All my lights are still on, which is sort of concerning. Okay, now all the lights went off. Sweet. All right, so I set it to soft. So that means when I let off the throttle, it should be pretty soft. So I'm gonna go in gear. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Third gear, a little under 3,000 RPM, I'm gonna let off the throttle. Wow, barely, barely any jerking. I mean, it basically feels like the stock tune, which is super, super smooth. Oh, that is so much better. Wow. Oh, yeah. Right when you let off the throttle, I mean, it's, it's nice. Fourth gear, 2300 RPM, let off. Oh, it's so smooth. It is way better than before. That makes a world of a difference, guys. If you, you guys need to do this right now, it makes an enormous difference. Uh, if you have the 2020. So before, without these settings, when you let off the throttle sometimes, most of the time actually, it was very rough. You know, and the car would jerk and you would mostly notice it at lower speeds and in lower gears because of some different programming. Uh, I mean, I already explained it to you guys. All right. Onward. Let out the throttle, 3,500 RPM. Oh. What if I let it off just quickly, like... Oh, it's very smooth, guys. That is excellent. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is amazing. Th I mean, this makes an enormous difference in, in how smooth the car feels. I love it. Good job, K-Tuner. I appreciate it. See, I mentioned this problem a couple times 
in some of my earlier videos with this car and I don't think I really knew how to explain the jerking and a couple people in the comments here and there would say yeah I have the same thing and no one else really understood because the 2020s were so new at that point and so few people had them and further than that so few people who had them had them tuned so there were there were a very small group of people who knew what I was talking about in my videos when I said when you let off the throttle uh, it's got like this this jerk to it I'm on my way to AutoZone because I need to get a bunch of bumper clips or fender liner splash guard clips for the ninth gen you guys have not seen the video yet but uh, that car is a little beat up right now <laughs> okay so let me go to tune let me go to map two I'm just gonna play around with different maps and see yeah that's still great let off the throttle oh that's nice it just it shifts so much smoother and I thought fearable was smooth before this is a whole different thing guys I do want to make sure I'm gonna go back down to map one you guys know how K tuner has some weird problems I'm gonna go to make sure I hit 19.5 psi I mean I saw my I saw it say 21 John if you're watching I'm not sure why like map 2 I'll see 22 to 23 psi and then map 1 on this on the fearable tune I'll see like 21 22 so I think map 1 is supposed to be 19.5 I know I know K tuner has its problems when you flash your car a lot of people have run into that problem I mean the very first time you guys remember seeing that video, the very first time I flashed TSP Stage 1 in my car, I was, uh, I went to map 3 and I was only seeing 20, like 19 or 20 PSI. Those were good freaking times, dude. Uh, I will also be making a video of all of, one, I'll be making a video of all the things I love about this car. Two, I'll be making a video probably called something like mistakes I made with my tension build. So, probably something like that. Um, and then basically go over everything in detail a lot of stuff that I was too shy or too embarrassed to mention in the video or mention on my channel this far and basically just make a good informational video about my mistakes and what I learned um, which mods I would do first if I could do it again uh, which mods were a waste of money stuff like that uh, hopefully that will be a video that helps out future tension owners for years and years and years but I'm gonna go into AutoZone and get the clips okay mission failed I don't have a mask in this car that's crazy I usually have like three or four masks scattered across the car so yesterday I tried out the soft settings for the throttle padding today we are going I actually just finished flashing it as you can see right here Today we're going to do the medium settings because that was a little too soft for me. I mean, it was very nice at first, but I kept on going back and forth between that and with rev hang, with rev hang enabled. And you almost can't tell the difference because it was so soft. So we are trying out the medium settings today. I'll tell you guys what I think. So after you flash a tune, I know that you're supposed to drive around for like 15 minutes about to uh, put it into a closed loop. But I'm going to take it down the road and wait till my lights go away and then we're going to see how it does. Third gear, I'm going to let the throttle at around 2700 RPM. That felt great. That felt awesome. Let's take it up to like 3500 and let off. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so like I was saying, with the throttle padding set to soft, it almost felt like rev hang was on. I mean, there was so much padding and it was it was nice, it was comfortable, but there was still, it still shifted a little too weird for me. I have to go get gas, this is perfect. I will show you guys my E85 calculation, which isn't, I mean, it's just off the top of my head by now, but. Okay, so right now I'm gonna try it with rev hang on. I don't know if it actually changes anything with the rev hang on. Not 
yet, Prius. I mean, yeah, it feels like roughing's on, I don't know. Not much different with that, or nothing really different than I notice. Okay, rev hang is off again, on the throttle, let off. Yeah, before, so before, without these settings, when you let off the throttle sometimes, most of the time actually, it was very rough. Third gear, when you let off the throttle, it's, it's nice, it's great. Yeah, this is an enormous improvement. I'm so happy K-Tuner finally did this for the 2020s. Uh, it's a little, it's a little weird actually. I don't know if you guys could catch that, but I just let off the throttle in first gear, and it kind of rocked back and forth a little bit. But I mean, you're gonna get that with any tr manual transmission car. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. It feels good. basic level performance mods but I definitely uh, there I definitely wasted a lot of money on certain things which I'll go over in a video all by itself guys so this is what I do to find an E85 station near you or an E85 pump I should say um, all you do is literally go to Google and type in E85 near me so I found this place uh, locally we have this place called propel fuels and what they have are these little singular pumps um, at gas stations. And this is exactly what I do every time I do this. Okay, I will literally... I don't even think you have to lift this actually. Do you? Yeah, you do. I will put about... You can put... Safely, you can put up to 1.7 gallons. Uh, I will choose to put 1 1.5. 1.515. Close enough. And then head right there and fill the rest up with 91. That's all I do. That is all I have for this video. I'm sorry, I've been really sloppy with uh, recording my videos lately. I've been very bad with both my intros and my outros especially. Like I said, there are lots of really good informational videos coming out where uh, you know I'm gonna be as honest as possible and do my best to really help out people who are going to be uh, buying these cars for a long, long time. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a couple days.